Today I want to do something interesting TV review because this, I watched this show only because as a preparation for for me to meet Anson Mao and Taiwan Comic Con in two week in two weeks, it'll be cool for me for him to meet him. Um, but the show I'm referring to is one of the shows that he used to star in is Inhumans, which was supposed to be a a feature film by Ken Feige, who was kind of curious about it. But for some reason, the never the was never never came to fruition, and it turned into a eight episode series with I think two episodes having AMC screenings, which is kind of interesting. Um. I again, I only watched this because to me, in order to me, it's a about and this was a show, of course, that was universally hated. The boy, I think, Ken Feige hated so much. He, aside from Black Boy and Doctor Strange too, had want nothing to do with him humans anymore. And it's fair to say that in the humans at that time, the show and the proposed movie was made was was being in the works. This the Inhumans were supposed to be like the Marvel Cinematic Universe X Men since they didn't own X Men at, at that time, Disney. And what are my thoughts on this show? Knowing that it was hated and it was originally turned into about was originally a movie. I feel like this is a movie, not a movie. This is a show. The biggest problem with it is the budget of it. Be I didn't look at what the budget was, but watching it, it feels like it was on a lower budget than other Marvel TV shows before Disney Plus shows, even though that those which are higher budgeted. This one is the lowest highest budget is because the quality of the show is not the same. Does it's not. That very great. Like, it looks cheap. It and off a little bit. And the setting of at Adeline is now <clears throat> well organized and doesn't have much focus on, on like the city itself and more like protecting it. And the characters are not that interesting to me. Like not even like Black Bolt or Crystal. They don't. I don't care about them that much, specifically because they barely <laughs> use their powers. Like Medusa used her hair powers at the first episode, but the evil Maximus. <sighs> Shaved her hair off and she stayed normally like that throughout the entire series. And Black Bolt, understandably, um, <clears throat> uh, doesn't use his powers until the vi until the very end to defeat his brother. And the only time we saw him use his voice was on a police fight accident on accident. And a flashback where a where, uh, shot version of himself, some reason, kill his parents. Which is kind of a dark and sad thing to happen to a superhero. Um, but yeah, the characters are kind of bland, like, like Crystal or Long Class. A little interesting, though the CGI looks, no, doesn't look good. And the two characters, like Gorgon and Tinto, I believe, are two characters that were died, but later they are they don't die anymore, and they live now. So I guess Inhumans are not allowed to die. I guess I think. <clears throat> Maximus is kind of like the most blandest villain of all time because he's 
less of a villain and more of like a motivational villain where he's trying to plan out his evil plans, but he barely barely attacks the inhumans or does some world domination thing. He's just trying to tell people about his schemes, whether the, peop the city of Atlan or the people close to him. He's just talking about his like motivation, his goals, and what to do, and not like fully doing stuff, which is which is odd. <clears throat> um, I do appreciate the the tile sequence. It's kind of cute with uh the um the comic accurate title card. It's pretty cool with the long claw art. It's pretty oh, cool. Um, so... Yeah, so... Honestly, that's my overall thoughts on Inhumans. It's not a great show. It's like, it really is not. Could have been better if they have a higher budget. Like, it could have worked. Also, I thought the ending was kind of really weird because it shows them with the costumes out of nowhere without like explanation or seeing the the foreshot that hints at it it just happens so honestly i gave inhumans uh four out of ten